Today you are going to create a postcard about your country. So here we have a pretty typical looking postcard. This is one I created. I have my picture on the left side and then I have my text telling my family what I have done, what I have seen. I have the school's return address because we will be hopefully sending it from school and a stamp that I created about my country. So let's begin. When we open up Word, we are going to have a blank document, but we want our document to be the size of a postcard. So we're going to click on page layout and size. Now, if you're working in full Word layout, everything will be laid out. It will not be stacked up. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to click on size and I'm looking for a size that's called Japanese postcard. Now, I don't have it listed on my computer. Most of you will have it on your computers. If you do not have Japanese postcards, you're going to click on A6. It's almost exactly the same, so we can work with that. We want to turn the postcard on its side, so we're going to click on Orientation and Landscape. Now, you see over here, I just wanted to zoom in a little bit, so it will be easier for me to see what I'm doing. You might want to do the same. Now, we're going to split our postcard in half. So I'm going to click on Insert Shape and I'm going to click on align. Now when you draw a line and you click and drag, it's very hard sometimes to make a straight line. But if I hold down the shift key, you see it bounces into place and I have a perfectly straight line. I also now have a drawing tools format tab. If I'm not selected on my line or on any shape, I won't have it. It's not here. But if I'm selected on it, when I have my four arrows, I can now change my shape. So I'm going to click on Shape Outline. I'm going to change my line to black. I'm going to go back to Shape Outline. And maybe I'm going to make the thickness, the weight is the thickness a little bit thicker to one and a half. Okay, so we have our line. Now we're going to insert another shape. And this time we're going to use the rectangle shape. But we, we want a square. So if I click and drag, I can get a pretty much good square, but if I do the same thing by holding down shift, it automatically creates a perfect square. I do not want this to be filled in. So on my format tab here, I'm going to go to shape fill and select no fill. Now I could select white in this case because I have a white background, but let's say I had a pink paper or pink background. If I selected white, then my box would come out white. So I click on no fill so it's clear. My shape outline, I don't care what color it is, it can be any color you want, but we are going to make our outline dashes. So we're going to click on the fourth option here. That is where our stamp will go in the end. We're ready to insert our text boxes. So I click back on insert and I'm clicking on text box. And I'm going to add in two text boxes. So I'm going to, I could use any of these, but we want a very simple text box. So I'm going to click on draw text box. Now I can click and drag. I have one there and I'm going to go again to insert text box, draw text box, and I'm going to put mine here. So this is for the body of our postcard and this is for our return address. But I don't want these boxes to have lines. It doesn't look very good. So we know we can go to format tab and shape outline and just say no outline. And we'll do that for both. Our boxes are still there. Right? We see that when we click on them, but they're empty. So I'm going to start to type RYNJ666 Hinder whoops, Kamak Road. Now, watch what happens. I have very large spaces between my words. So I want to fix that because I want everything to fit in that box. So I'm going to highlight my words. Make sure you highlight. If you don't highlight, then this won't work. We're going to click back on our home tab and in our paragraph section we have the line and spacing option. So I know most of you are say, okay I'll put it to one and that will work. But it doesn't really work here because they have built in the space after. So if we click on remove space after everything will jump up and then we'll see it'll fit. Okay so we have our text here. We're going to need to do the same exact thing for this box, for this text box, and then you could start typing your message. Now, your message is going to answer four questions which are on the direction sheets. The four questions are as follows. One, 
what continent is it on? Your country, what continent is on? What country are you in? Three is things that you can see while you are there. And we're going to have three facts. And the last one is why you wanted to visit this place. Okay, those are your four facts. And at the end, you're going to say, since you're sending it to your family, you can say love, and you're going to write your name. Okay? So that's the information that's going to go here. You should know all this information because you did research on your country. Over here, we're going to put in our picture. So let's start looking for our picture. So we're going to use World Book Online, and we're going to log in, RNJ1, and password is 07661. Hopefully, we all know that by now. And we're clicking on student. I'm going to type in the name of the country that I'm researching. So I typed in Peru. Right here on the left-hand side, I'm just going to click on pictures, and it will bring up all the pictures they have. So. Let's say for this one, I wanted to use this picture. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save image as. You know what? I'm actually going to pick a different one and I'll tell you why in a second. This one's better. Okay. So I'm going to right click and save image as. If you are not in Google Chrome, it will not say save image as. It will say save picture as. So be aware of that. It opened up to my pictures folder and I'm going to name it. Peru, I already have some, so I'm going to just put a number three after it and click on save. Now I'm going to minimize and go back to my document. On our insert tab, we're not putting in a clipper. This time we're putting in a picture, so I'm going to click on insert picture. It's going to take me straight to my pictures folder, and I'm just going to put in the file name because I have a lot of files there. I typed in the name and click on insert. Now it comes up smack in the middle, and it's cut off. It's cut off because remember we spoke about this shape here having a white background. Our text boxes as well have a white background, but it's fine. We need to release our picture from the back. It's sort of stuck as I try to move it. So I'm going to click on picture tools and text wrap, text wrap, and we're going to click in front of text. Now you can click, drag it over, and you want it to fit over here, but mine is sort of, you know, it's too big. So I'm going to click on crop. And I'm going to just drag in to select the areas that I want. And I can pan around and move and choose which areas I want. So I have my picture set now. Now, really, when you take an image from the internet, you need to give credit to whoever took this picture. So down here, if we go back to World Book Online, we see we have a copyright. Copyright, this person took the picture, and this is his organization or his company. So we're going to take this information. We're going to highlight it and copy it. Right click and copy. Go back to our postcard. We're going to put in one more text box, which we know how to do already. And we're going to paste the information. Okay, now you can make that smaller. It doesn't need to be quite so large. You all know how to take away the outline already of the box. So I don't even need to say anything about that. And then we will have our postcard. The last thing you're going to have to do is add in your stamp. So to put in your stamp, you're going to click on insert. You're going to click on insert picture like we did before. I'm going to search in my pictures. Again, I'm just going to type it in Peru and I saved it as Peru stamp. And it's here. It's behind this picture, but it's here. So it's selected. I'm right away going to click on text wrap in front of text. Here I have my stamp. I'm going to move it over, make it smaller to fit inside my dotted line, and now my postcard is done. When you are ready to print it, you're going to click on File, Print. You're going to make sure that you're selected on the HB Color Laser Jet. It should say Wine J File, HB Color Laser Jet. We're going to make sure that there's special cardstock hard paper inside so it prints out as a postcard and then you will click on print. One very important thing I forgot to mention way at the beginning. You should have saved this document, file, save, add, as postcard. Postcard project with 
you can add in the name of your country. Please make sure you save even when you are done. You want to make sure you save in case there was a mistake, in case something happens to it. Good luck.